In this Flash and Action Script 3 lesson, we're going to demonstrate how to use flash bars in Action Script 3. And uh, this is going to be in the form of an FLA file that you can download from developphp.com. And we do this just because on YouTube you can't see code real well unless the tutorialist makes his font pixel 24 pixels and higher which is just way too big in the actions panel it's kind of retarded so I enjoy you know just showcasing the file here on YouTube showing you what it's capable of doing and then you can just go and get the whole thing free the source code uh, I get you know sometimes a lot of people on YouTube contact me and say my tutorials aren't showing the full tutorial or it's not doing anything for them uh, I really don't care because I know that the smart people who understand what I'm doing here they go to my site and they get the FLA file and then they become more knowledgeable in flash and you can just shut the hell up okay so uh, I'm gonna showcase this file and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you the action script on YouTube you're not gonna be able to see this you idiot you gotta go and get the FLA file okay <laughs> so anybody who thinks that this tutorial isn't tutorial video isn't doing anything for them uh, you are a freaking moron, okay? Just go to my site and get the FLA file, and then you got the tutorial, you dumbass. Okay, so let's continue. I'm sorry, people on YouTube really burn my ass up. Okay, so, uh, okay, here's the code. You go to develop PHP, and you download this FLA file to get the code. And, uh, it's Action Script 3 code for pulling in a flash bar. And, uh, Let's show you the. This is the PHP file. Now, what happens is when you publish out in Flash, it makes an HTML file, correct? Okay, in that HTML file, you'll see um, that you have your ACFL run content JavaScript going on here with the no script embed code and uh, what you do is you turn this file into a PHP file so instead of being .html it becomes .php so um, it's very simple to take that file and just rename its extension .php and then you can write PHP into it and you can see up top here I wrote some PHP into the, the file and it's getting the user's IP address and I'm gonna have this file also in the package in the zip file so you can get all the source uh, but I'm just explaining it here and then uh, what you have is flash bar uh, parameter being sent in here in the ACFL run content section right under where the source file is sent in the source name you put flash bars right there and you can see I'm printing in the IP using PHP printing in the user IP address using PHP right there so it's name value pairs you send in with the flash bar there um, and then you put a parameter here where you have all your other parameters like quality movie allow full screen and all that you put one more in there called flash bars and you do the, uh, the value pair in there and then in the embed string down here uh, you also put it in after the source you put in flash bars equals item ID equals IP and you print it in using PHP so PHP is printing a variable into uh, it's a URL encoded uh, variable into the flash file then once you get into flash uh, let's see let's show you at the site or at the test area and I'll go to the page where this is online so it can be working. This won't work in your local environment. You have to be on a uh, a server that processes PHP. So if your local environment, your Windows or your Mac machine does process PHP, this will work. So you can see I, I have it up on the web now and it says your IP sent in from PHP is and there's my IP address and let's see let me just publish out so you can see it you see if you publish out and you're just on your machine you won't even see a line there so it has to be on the web or on a server that processes PHP 
So that's how you use flash bars and implement it into the HTML file and uh, to get the variable into flash. So flash doesn't have to send a request out, it just grabs it in right when flash is loaded. It grabs it straight off of the root, the root timeline. So uh, if you have any questions about this, you can head to the forum and ask away and I'll get you an answer or I'll try to or one of the other members there will. Okay, we'll see you guys next lesson. And sorry for beefing about YouTube, but